Hello, my name is Rodney Grounds. I'm the Vice President of Sales here at Robopack USA. Robopack is a global leader in the manufacture of secondary packaging equipment. We manufacture depalletizers, palletizers, wraparound case packers, shrink bundlers, case equipment, stretch wrappers, and laser guided vehicles. Everything that's put on a pallet gets stretch wrapped. So if you're having pallet loads damaged during transport, if you feel like you're using too much stretch film, or if you just want to remove plastic from the waste stream, this video is for you. The solution for these three problems can be found in Robopack's patented Cube Technology Film Delivery System. At Robopack, we have a very wide range of automatic stretch wrappers, and all of these stretch wrappers can be equipped with our patented Cube Technology Film Delivery System. So what is Cube Technology? Cube Technology is variable pre-stretch, variable force to load, and proactive corner compensation. What makes this different? Well, all of the competitors in this market space use a traditional fixed pre-stretch. This is technology that was developed in 1976. Basically, there's a single motor that drives a set of pre-stretch gears that determines a fixed rate of pre-stretch. Typically, we see ranges anywhere from 150% to 250% pre-stretch. And that pre-stretch is carried out all the way up and all the way down while we're wrapping a, a pallet. The Robopack patented technology includes dual servo motors, one for each pre-stretch roller. And what that allows us to do is to vary the pre-stretch anywhere within the load that we need to from zero to 400%. So what does Cube technology really do? It lets us put exactly the right amount of film at exactly the right position on the pallet with exactly the right containment force. But what's really important about this technology is it reduces your film consumption by 20 to 55%, improves your load containment, and thus reduces product damage. So what does variable pre-stretch mean and why is it important to you? The biggest thing that pre variable pre-stretch will allow you to do is ensure that you're getting the best economy out of whatever stretch film you're using. So, in reality, what it allows you to do is reduce the amount of film that you use. So how does that work, and why don't the competitors do it? With competitive machines on the market that have a fixed pre-stretch, you have to find out the best pre-stretch ratio without tearing the film when you make some crucial wraps down at the bottom of the pallet where you have sharp wooden corners. The industry standard is usually 200 to 250%. So you wrap the whole pallet up and down at that ratio. With our variable technology, we can reduce the pre-stretch down to 250% when we're making those first revolutions around the pallet where there's sharp wooden corners where we may tear the film. But as we get into the meat of the load, we can start ramping up our pre-stretch all the way to 400% or whatever the film will allow. Even the cheapest films these days have more than 250% pre-stretch. So anything that you're not stretching over that 250% is just money out of your pocket. Cube technology lets you keep that money in your pocket. Another problem we see is poor load containment. Poor load containment leads to product damage during transportation. Our competitors use an old technology from 1976 where there's only one containment force that's exerted to the load all the way up and all the way down the pallet. What's wrong with that? Well, when this pallet's on the back of a truck and a truck driver slams on the bank or does a quick acceleration, it generates energy or inertia in that pallet load, and it has to go somewhere. If you've made one solid block out of all the layers, the only place for that pallet to move is at the base of the pallet, and all of a sudden your load starts moving off the pallet, which causes catastrophic failure. The principle is just like building a skyscraper in an earthquake-prone area. The buildings are meant to sway or built to sway. That's the same thing we do with these pallet loads. By wrapping tighter in the bottom and the middle and allowing a, a little bit less tension at the top, when that truck driver slams on the brake or does a quick acceleration, now the inertia or energy has a place to escape without ripping the whole load from the pallet, thus reducing catastrophic pallet damage. And finally, our customers these days are asking us about green initiatives. How do I remove plastic from the waste stream? This system of cube technology allows us to reduce the amount of plastic that's actually going to go in the waste stream 
by reducing the amount of plastic that we put on the pallet, yet still having very high containment forces and reducing product damage. If you're having issue with product damage due to poor load containment, if you'd like to reduce your stretch film consumption or remove plastic from the waste stream, let us prove to you that Cube Technology is the solution by scheduling a test at our state-of-the-art tech lab. To get started, go to the website below.